something bad happened, so we lock our keys inside the FJ for some reason and we couldn't understand why, because the car was unlocked and my wife, she just closed the door and everything was locked after that, the car just locked on its own for some reason and I had to drive back home like two hours and a half one way and got, get the other keys so this day was pretty much ruined for us Fuck it. you have everything for the baby in there it's not funny well how can it be funny the doors were open we were well, just sitting here it's funny because you think it's funny to record <laughs> i don't know it's like be behind the scenes you know, nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> the overlanding life. No. The struggles. No, see, no. No, Sophie. <laughs> no. This is crazy, man. That's crazy. So we just closed the doors and it just locked on itself? Yes. Like, I, I grabbed the food out. And Addy was walking behind me. The pouch is in the front because I took it off to breastfeed her. And then I changed her diaper in the back seat. I changed her diaper in the back seat. Hey guys, I'm still driving back on my way back home to get the keys from my wife. She was so pissed off. She locked her car and I'm driving right now on the highway. So I'm driving back. <laughs> I got the keys. So, I forgot the keys. No, please. I'm just kidding. There, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Man! Yay! All right, guys. So, <laughs> it's a funny, funny story today. Supposed to be a nice day out. First day out with, with her helicopter rooftop tent turned into a nightmare. We locked the keys inside. And I had to drive back home and get him. My one. Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vasil. Welcome to the Very Cool Jeep channel. And today we will be talking about how I got thousand dollars off of my Helicap 3.1 rooftop tent. So back in 2020, when I still was rocking the 230 rooftop tent on the top of my jeep i got so sick of jumping up and down and open that thing and it just will take like 25 minutes open it up and close it and when we went for one week vacation in utah and that was it i was sick of it jumping up and down so after when we came back from vacation i start looking for alternative options like swapping the rooftop tent or getting something else. I was actually looking into uh, trailers, but my wife doesn't like the trailer, so that was, was out of the option. So we found the Helicap tent online. I watched a bunch of videos, reviews. I kind of fell in love with it. And then we start looking for uh, distributors here. And luckily we found a Vagabond 4x4, which was the only one distributor here in Phoenix, Arizona. We drove by down there, we told them that we want to place an order, that was in July 1st, 2020. We placed an order for an helicap tent for shadow awning and uh, brackets for the shower, shower cube uh, uh, and the shower cube and the load bra brackets that go on the top of the tent. So the owner ashton told us that it's gonna take almost a month to get the tent and we, go, we said like oh man that's awesome we're gonna still have time for overland before the summer ends but it didn't happen so we had to wait for five months and after i waited for five months i was calling the guy every week i said is there any news is there eta like delivery on the tent and he will just tell me like call me next week i'm gonna tell you for sure i'm gonna call okay for the drive i will call him again next week he will say oh i just spoke to the okay four wheel drive they just told me like they're receiving a shipment 
like next week you know give me two weeks and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know for sure so all that dragged almost for five months then in December beginning of December I said listen man I can't wait any longer give me my money back keep the tent I don't need nothing out of you I found a different distributor I'm talking about the bush company about the Midgard adventures and I told him like just give me my money you keep your stuff and I, I don't want to do business with you anymore uh, he wasn't happy with that he said like he tried to you know like convince me staying with him and like not like reimburse me and then I said okay dude I'm gonna call I'm gonna call okay for all the drive I call okay for all the drive they told me that he never ever made a purchase and I was a little bit confused I was like how come because they've been telling me for five months that you guys are the issue and you guys that you know like you know distributing all the tents around the United States and he's like we're waiting okay for okay for all the drive we can't do anything so he said that's not true they never placed an order they never put a deposit I, and nothing and then I called back Ashton I said listen you're a liar you didn't even pay anything to okay for the drive and he got really edgy he got nervous over the phone he's like who did you talk in okay for the drive I don't even care I don't even know who is that guy uh, and he's like okay Vasil you do you if you want your money back I'm gonna give you your money back but you will have to wait until I sell everything so again I was waiting almost one month from December until end of January he didn't reimburse me anything yeah. so I called him again I said listen are you planning to reimburse me or this is just gonna be uh, another five months waiting he's like yes I will reimburse you have to wait and from the from that point on I was like okay it's time to hire a lawyer I hire a lawyer and the lawyer didn't help me at all and I had to contact with my USA military bank I talked to so many managers so they reimburse a part of my money but the other part that I trade in my 23-0 rooftop tent they never get my money back but that's not all because I've been busy half of the time when I was you know like uh, I was in school I was working and my wife she was dealing partially with them as well and she's gonna tell you her part of the story how they avoid it because when I start working with the lawyer the lawyer said listen don't call them anymore then talk to them and I, I'm gonna handle that but then my wife's wife was pissed off and she went several times down there and she talked to them but nothing was nothing like uh, successful at all so I remember um, we were waiting for the tent and we were so excited you know to kind of get out and I really wanted to take like a mini vacation you know what they call a baby moon before the baby comes we need to take a trip um, one time they invited us down to a coffee and donuts event and when we saw them my husband got the like gut feeling that they were trying to avoid ma even making eye contact with us and I was like oh come on don't be ridiculous they're just busy they have a lot of people here uh, but then as we were coming out of the restaurant where they were hosting it at my husband was like oh hi Ashton and the guy just looks at him like nervously and he's like oh oh hey Vasil I didn't see you guys there did you speak to Brandy already? Did she tell you your tent is going to get here next week? And we're so ecstatic, you know, so happy. We're like, yes, finally we can go out. So we wait for that week and we didn't hear anything back from them. So I said, give it one more week. Maybe, you know, their inventory, whatever. Um, so then we wait one more week and we call them and we say, hey, what happened? Is the tent here? You guys promised the tent is going to be here. Oh, well, you know what? We contacted OK Four Wheel Drive and the shipment got held at Customs because of the COVID-19 and they had to hold it for 
14 days at least but you know it's custom so they they have the right to hold it up for up to 60 days and i said wait that doesn't make sense so then i contacted okay four wheel drive and they said well we've been having shipments coming in you know yeah it's taking a little bit longer than usual so i contacted okay four wheel drive and they said you know we have a shipment coming in in october but it's hard to tell you if yours is on there we do have an order coming in for vagabond but without the order number i can't tell you if your tent is on there uh, so I contacted uh, Vagabond again and I said, hey, can we have our order number to see if our tent is in the October shipment? And she was like, oh, hey, by the way, I just contacted OK Four Wheel Drive and yeah, they are having a shipment arriving in October. So as soon as they do the inventory, give it about two weeks. It's going to be uh, at mid-October around the 15th and then we'll let you know. So we wait until the 20th of October and that's when we decide to call them again and again they tell us next week and next week and next week until December when he finally decided you know what it's enough we're gonna cancel and we're gonna go with the Bush company tent uh, but when he tried to contact them and say hey we're canceling give us our refund they said we can't do that because okay four wheel drive has a policy that when once you order the tent the tent is yours so you can't cancel it anymore and i said well that's ridiculous because we never sign any contract so again i contact okay four wheel drive and even the guy laughed on the phone he's like what kind of ridiculous policy is this he said i can't hold somebody's money if i don't have a product to give you i can't keep your money you can cancel and, and then he sent me an email and he said you know, to bag a bond four by four. I'm telling this lady she can have her money back. We don't have her tent. We don't even have a order for her. You know, just give her her money. Uh, so they were reluct reluctant at first, but luckily they said, okay, we're gonna give you your money back. Or so we thought we were lucky, but they were just trying to buy more time. Um, finally, he hired the lawyer. We went through the dispute process you know at the bank there's still no money so I contacted them again and then she said okay well what you can do is come down here I'm gonna write you a check for the amount because we're tired of you leaving reviews and going to the Better Business Bureau and I said great you know it, finally we thought finally you know I filed a dispute with the Better Business Bureau so that must have done something but once I got down there she was like no we're not giving you any money because we already gave you your money back and you and Vastil are only trying to scam us out of our money and then i pulled up you know our bank statements and i said we don't have any money like you're not giving us our money you're holding our money i said and i'm at this point we're not even asking for the full amount because luckily he was able to get partial from the um dispute process in his bank I said, I'm only asking you for the amount of our 23 tent or for you to give me back the 23 tent. And that's when she got really aggressive and she was like, you need to get out of here. You need to get out of here and stop leaving reviews on us. This is getting ridiculous and uh, we're going to file a restraining order against you. So I, I was like, okay, you know what? Let Just let the lawyer handle this. A few days later, somebody left a message under the review that I, I had left on their Facebook page saying, can you please contact us because this happened to us too. And then a few more other people throughout the week started contacting us that they had also been put through the same situation where this company, you know, just kept telling them it's coronavirus, you have to wait, you have to wait. And then they just made out with who knows how much money. Um, we tried to look for them again, but um, one of the people that had also been scammed said that they were kicked out of the building because they had failure to pay rent to the landlord. Um, so we don't even know if that they're still doing business in Arizona under the same name or if they changed it to a different name because they completely blocked us off 
older social media so that way we can't leave reviews anymore and bring awareness to people but um, I think that from the beginning if I would have just listened to his gut instinct and not been so nice about everything they wouldn't have gotten away with so much so you know be careful who you do business with and you know scammers are always gonna make you feel like you're your they're your friends you know if follow your gut feeling and just be wary and always alert as to who you do business with because you know they say the wolf wears the ship skin and skin you know so just be careful yeah and on the overland expo 2021 when we went uh, when we went there i talked to the okay four wheel drive guys and they recognized me i told them the whole story and then I also told him that I got an FJ Cruiser for my wife and I'm looking for a tent and he was like, you know what, let me go back to my office after the Overland Expo and give me a call in a week and I'm gonna make you something, like we're gonna make a deal. So after the Overland Expo, when, when he came back like one week later, I called him back. I told him that's me Vasil, you remember he told me to call you back and he gave me $1,000 off of the 3.1 Helicap rooftop tent which is amazing, tells me a lot about OK Full Wheel Drive culture, they care about the, their customers, they care about the people, even though I was scammed by a third party that they were distributors, but they still you know did a good thing and they took a hit they lost thousand dollars but they just made, did an amazing thing because we were without a tent for two years and we just we had we had been stuck one year waiting for the helicap tent and being scammed and the next year the COVID-19 hit and we were sitting home anyway so that was just a lot for two years sitting home and not doing nothing and I would like to thank everybody from OK Full Wheel Drive community that you guys are the best. Thank you for the tent. Thank you for the discount. And I'm more than happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> See? Oh! <laughs> 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 No, not again. She keeps running again on him. Torturing my dog. <laughs> but then, so, please. In, in the beginning. I don't know, like, this stupid bird is just pissing me off, man. Well, go scare it on. When you sit down, because you can just cut that part off. Man, now I wish I had a gun. Ah, sucks. 